Good morning and welcome back for another vlog with myself, Darren. And this is a day in life for the HGV driver here in the UK. And I've had a week off and it was a very nice week off. No work, relaxing, chilled out in Scotland. I've put the vlog up there if you want to go see it. But 6 a.m. in the morning on a Monday, back at it. I've just connected up to a double deck trailer and now I'm just going to be getting loaded from the hub and it's quite an easy one for Monday morning as well and the first day back in after a week off because all I'm doing on the to schedule is two or maybe three shunts from our witness depot to our client half a mile down the road it's not too bad all righty then all loaded up over at Ashton and now we need to head over to our Wednesday's depot take this load over there and then get reloaded and take it to the client Hello right, Andy It's probably a bit easier for me to let them through instead of snake around them Thanks anyway buddy, appreciate that. Well it does feel a bit weird driving the trucks again after having so long off. Oh, I'll let you in. You're welcome. Just a little bit of a muscle memory really, isn't it? Just taking it a little bit more wider than what you would in the car, etc. Same for reversing as well. Done a couple of reverse shunts just then, wasn't too bad. Got through, all right. Ooh, God, it's warm one today. You can tell it's got a warm one. Currently saying 16 degrees, but I think it's probably gonna be about 22 today, I reckon. So the air conditioning's going to be coming on a little bit later on, as soon as I stop recording. <laughs> I'll try not to let the air conditioning fans interfere with the audio. Reminds me actually, I still need to pick up a microphone of some sort, which is compatible with the GoPro. The problem is they're about £300, aren't they? They're really, really expensive. But I want the best quality as I can for audio as well as visual, you see most important thing for you isn't it you gotta be able to understand what I'm saying so how is everybody anyway you had a good week you had a good weekend hopefully everyone's doing all right now to get to witness um, it's currently 10 to 7 at the moment I reckon I'll probably be there for about hmm 20 to 8 give or take, so just under an hour, especially this time of day as well, I'm going to be jumping on the M6 southbound, which can start getting a little bit heavy, traffic will start backlogging around this area as well to get onto the M6, and then I'm going to be jumping on the M62, straight down towards the M57, I think it is off the top of my head, and then cutting down towards Witness through there because our depot is just around that bit so it's not real too bad to get there it's nice and easy but it's just really traffic dependent some days it can be good some days well the M6 can be the M6 really can't it the car park but now is the moment of truth what's the M6 going to be like looking not too bad actually it's looking all right currently five to seven as well so nice free flowing it's what you want it's expected to be a bit bad luck if you're being honest with you oh it's about time isn't it the sun's here though it really is i was getting really fed up really really fed up getting wet <laughs> wet cold and windy that's what it's been like for the last couple of weeks really hasn't it really unpredictable so hopefully finally towards the end of june summer is officially arrived
and hopefully it doesn't go next week. When I was travelling up Scotland on the Saturday, I heard it was torrential rain. Really, really bad. But when I got up to Scotland, it was like this. It was dead nice. It was really weird. How nice it was in Scotland, the weather compared to down here. I'm hoping it won't be too late if I finish today. I'm probably looking at about half past six, maybe today. Which is fair, it's probably about average between six and a half, six when you're doing class one driving. So, kind of expect it. Anything earlier than six is a bonus. Because I'm over at Widnes End, after I've done the shunts, I'm probably going to be waiting around, maybe an hour possibly, to bring the double decker back loaded from our Widnes depot over to the hub so it can get distributed then throughout the network. That's what normally does happen, but that just depends on what time the last class two driver gets back to the Widnes depot with their collections from the area to then load up onto my double deck to then bring it back. So sometimes they could be back at about half five. So then obviously that'll put a little bit of a delay on myself. But if they're all finished by four o'clock, then that'll be better for myself because I'll be able to get back to the hub a lot earlier as well. Overall though, it's still an easy day. Can't complain. If you are interested in HCV driving or you've got any questions about the vlog or HCV driving in general really, um, let me know down below in comments and I'll try and answer as many as I can. And if you're going for your test or anything this week, best of luck for it. And if you're wondering about doing HCV driving as a career, I'd say go for it. I mean, what have you got to lose at the end of the day? If you don't like it, you can go back to what you are doing previously, but at least give it that opportunity. And you do get a more sense of a freedom when you're doing HCV driving, which is one thing I absolutely love. You're your own boss in a way when you're on the road because you've got to look after your own hours, make sure you don't go over your driving time, make sure you don't go over your working time directives. It seems quite hard at first when you try and do your CPC course and stuff, get everything sorted out. But believe me, honestly, after you've done it a few times, like your manual entries, it's really really easy and you just keep to the basics really when you're keeping all of your hours just making sure you don't go over your six hours and your four and a half hour driving times you're perfectly fine and if you're in and if you are unsure by the way for your driving times and your working times just make sure you take a minimum of 15 minutes within six hours working time and you got to take a 45 minute break within the four and a half hours driving time but if you take your break for your driving time before your six hours working time, it covers both, so don't worry about it. So if you take um, a four and a half, sorry, 45 minutes after three hours driving, it'll clear your driving time as well. we'll start getting a little bit more heavy around here, just a bit of congestion, I think. I don't think it's been any accidents or anything. I've got a car, a hard, lane yep they're coming over I'll slow down for them I can see him there creeping in my mirror well I'll just slow down a little bit let them in keep a good distance can't believe it as well on Friday on the way home I was nearly involved in a five car pile up so it was a little bit of a hit and miss but luckily this is why i always say to everybody especially when you're driving trucks and stuff always keep a good distance from the car in front so if anything happens you slam on and then you're clear of the accident what happens in front luckily that's what happened on friday i kept that little bit more distance than what like the regular driver might may have done so I was able to slam on just in time and luckily there was nobody behind us when it into the back of us, they managed to miss me as well. So that worked out pretty good on us. Um, nobody was hurt as well, luckily. Got out, helped, made sure everybody was all all right before leaving. Bless her. It was all a young woman as well who was driving the car. Smashed right into the back of the car in front of her. It looked like she didn't even brake. 
So her car's bounced up off two back wheels, gone into the middle lane, which then smashed into a like a little van, a little bit like on the one on the right hand side now. And it just destroyed the whole of the front of the van and then that van's gone into the slow lane which then scuffed one of the vehicles in the slow lane as well. Luckily nobody was hurt, which is the main thing, isn't it? Bloody hell, it was really bad all that. Shook me and Leanne up a little bit, especially Leanne. You start thinking about little man in the car and stuff, don't you? You're thinking bloody hell about if someone hit the back of us, you got little man in the back, you got suitcases and everything full in the boot. Yeah, you don't really want to think about stuff like that, do you? But yeah, luckily everybody was alright. That's the double deck trailer dropped. The single deck trailer just connected to. Now I just need to go across the road over there to get loaded. But the guy doesn't start until eight o'clock. So I've got about a half hour wait or so before I can actually get loaded with this one. Just spinning the unit round in the yard so they can get straight up just against here now. Second thoughts, up against that line probably better. Just gives the forklift driver like, more space then on either side to load. Alright, that should do me there. May as well treat myself to a nice little bacon boy whilst I'm waiting for the guys to load me. It's currently quarter past eight at the moment and there's still no sign of them coming in. So I've spoke to Mark across the way from our depot. He reckons they're in about eight o'clock. Uh, well, between eight and half past anyway, so hopefully they should be here soon. But in the meantime, to keep myself occupied, me and my friend Eric do a podcast and this week's episode, which is getting released on Sunday, coming up, um, is for the Expendables 4. So if you've seen Expendables 4, you know what it's all about. It's a really crap film. And the premise of our podcast is rating and watching films what are below six on IMDb or 60% on Rotten Tomatoes. And then we decide for ourselves whether the critics are actually being harsh by rating it under six or does it deserve to be below six. I will put a link down below as well if you are interested in our latest episode, which is Jurassic Park Dominion. And yeah, it's over on YouTube, Spotify, so go check it out. Finally all loaded up now with the first shunt. And it's currently 10 to 10 already. I mean, where has the time gone? All I've done is been to Ashton, got loaded up, came back to here, switched trailers, and then got loaded up for the first shunt, which is only around the corner. It's gone so quick, hasn't it? And the time, I mean, so the temperature at the moment, no wonder I'm burning up. It's 27.5 degrees, it's saying in the cab at the moment. Woo! Go be a hot one, folks. Make sure you drink plenty of water, take extra care out there today, or this week, shall I say, because I think it's going to be getting just as warm later in the week. Yeah, it's a warm one for sure. jump on the expressway at the moment going towards the M57 and the M62 
but instead of coming on the M57 itself, I'm just staying on the where the roundabout is, and it's a little industry estate just there, and that's where our client is for the first delivery. They have got two different locations on the industry estate, so I don't know which one it's going to be. So I'm going to have a shot in the dark, really, go to one of them, and if it's not that one, I can just turn around and go to the other one. They're only across the way from each of us, so it's not really too far again. Driving from one to the other. Got to keep it close as you can to this white car, so if you get the swing nice and in. And I need to be careful on the passenger side, just to keep an eye out, make sure the cab doesn't over swing if there's any vehicles what might be parked up on the other side or any objects. So always keep checking your blind stop mirrors on the other side as well. Uh, a little bit more left turn, so straighten it up. The best bit of advice I can give anybody which is new to driving, when you're doing reversing, just take your time, just go nice and slow. Keep an eye on all your mirrors, just take it nice and slow so you've got more control of the trailer then when you're going slow. If you go quick, you're going to have to move steering wheel a fraction and it'll be offline. Talking about lines, that's what I try and get lined up on this one here. Swing to the left, straighten it up, and let's go pull forward a little bit. Jobs are good, and it's now quarter to eleven, and the first delivery has been done. And whilst I was there as well, I collected four pallets from them because they had them ready. So I might as well grab them now, saves space later on. If they have like a big order and we can't fit everything on the one trailer, we need to get a rigid coming later to get the rest of them. If I collected stuff what's ready now, it just saves any issues later. So you won't have to send another driver out, which is always good really, isn't it? Try and save a bit of money for the company and stuff. I'm delivering it to the witness depot, which is where I'm going to now, so it's not like I'm going out my way. And then I need to get loaded up from the business across the way from our depot to then come back to the clients around the corner. Nice and easy today, isn't it? Very warm, but an easy day. It's definitely worth carrying an extra one or two of these this time of year. You've got to keep yourself nice and fresh, haven't you? My word, it is absolutely roasting right now it really is next level heat not complaining though i'm absolutely loving it and you've got to make the most of it haven't you so when you get loaded just sit outside in the shade or in the sun have a nice little picnic with yourself sometimes i've got like a little camping chair to bring out so we're parking a lay by get your little chair out enjoy the weather enjoy the sunshine enjoy your dinner in peace the time has now just hit 10 to 1 I've taken my break as well, I've got loaded up for the second load and I'm ready to go for our second shunt. Whilst I'm there at the second shunt, I'm going to be collecting the rest of the stuff what's came in for their uh, deliveries and then bringing that back to witness and then I'll do a trailer swap from a single deck back to the double deck that I bought this morning but this time it's going to be loaded up with all the collections throughout the day that the class 2 drivers and myself have done so they could get distributed throughout the network overnight for delivery for tomorrow or the day after. It's nice and easy, isn't it, really? And this is what class one driving's like, really, in a day to day. No stress, no hard work. There's nothing really bad about it. Long hours, yes, I get that. But it does go quick, though, when you're doing stuff, especially when you're driving from one place to another place. If you're doing more long distance, like a three hour drive or a four hour drive, it, it doesn't seem like four hours most of the time. Granted, you can get some of the more difficult days and that is down to the way people park normally. So you always get like an odd car where it's 
parked right near one of the gates and it makes it next to impossible to try and reverse in or super tight to try and get in. But when you're making any deliveries or collections from anywhere which is really tight of an area, just take your time. Get out if you need to, ask someone to do a banksman if you need to and just try not to lose your head because if you don't keep your cool and you start panicking and stressing, you start overthinking the manoeuvres then and then what happens? Everything goes wrong. Cheers mate, thanks for that, letting me through. And then once it all starts going wrong, you start getting flustered, you start getting like the hot sweats and such, what you want to call it. So you're getting flustered and then you start panicking, you lose your head and then next minute you've had an accident or it's just an absolute nightmare going back and forth because you're not making the right angles for the turn that you need. It does happen from time to time. And if it happens, just give yourself a little bit of a breather and then try again. There's no rush to this game, there's really not. At the end of the day, you need to remember it's just an item on a pallet that is getting delivered. If it can't get delivered that day due to a road accident or anything you get held up in traffic, because it does happen from time to time, you just re-deliver it next day. Nobody's hurt, nobody's injured. So that's the best piece of advice I could give anybody. Just take your time. This last thing you want to do is injure yourself or anybody else because you're rushing. It's not worth it, folks. Alright then, just about to pull up at our job again for the second delivery. And it's now five to one. So it's took less than five minutes to get here. Right, then straight in we go as well. Nice clear yard. Set myself up for a good angle and reverse. Keeping it nice and slow. A little bit of left stay, or a little bit, just literally a little turn. And now hard right. Just sort of straighten it up. Just taking it nice and slow. And then left turn again. The unit and trailer are nice lined up like so. I'm going putting it in with a little bit of a left turn, always slightly. Just aiming for where that line is. A little bit more right turn, straighten it back up again. creeping it forward into, into a good position and then that will do it. And just like that, I'm back at Witness Depot at the moment. It's currently quarter past two and I've only got to wait for two more class two drivers to come back to Witness Depot. How many times did I say two in that last sentence? Class two, it's two o'clock and we've got two more class two vehicles to come back. That's a lot of twos, isn't it, in one sentence? Once everybody's back, my trunk is then to be loaded with on a double decker and then I'm going to be connecting to the double decker and then taking that back to Ashton to get unloaded. Once unloaded, I'm dropping that off over at Hay Dot Depot and then that is me done for the day. So, with it being so early in the day, hopefully the other two Class 2 drivers won't be that long. Because in the weather like this today, I want to be at home nice and early. And just like that, that is me done for the day. Well, very shortly anyway, because all I need to do is drive about a mile and a half down the road, drop the unit off, and then clock out, and I'm done for the night. It's currently 10 to six at the moment, 
So it's still not a too bad time. I should be home for half past six. Um, if not quarter past six, actually. It might be depending on traffic, actually. Yeah, about 15, 20 minutes, maybe. This time of day. On the way in the mornings, though, it only takes like 10 minutes to get in, so it's quite good. Go down the road, straight down these lengths, and then I'm in. Work, it's not too bad. For tomorrow's day, I've already seen what I've got planned, and it could go a possibly either way, whether it be a good day or a bad day. So I'm off to TJ Morris. So TJ Morris, they can either be really quick, in and out, or I could be waiting around for three hours to get unloaded. Hopefully it's not the latter. But either way, it should be all right. The other day, should be pretty good. I'm not too sure what I'm doing after that. Maybe collections in the area. So if that's the case, hopefully it'll be a half decent finish time for tomorrow as well. Or a little bit earlier. Earlier the better. Four o'clock could be ace, because then I could go pick the little man up. But realistically, it's probably gonna be about six o'clock, isn't it? And on that note, that is me done for the day. So if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Take care of yourself. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.